this is Laser Show with the wall, and as you can see, I'm trying out my new spot here for these videos I'm going to be making. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be today. Is gonna, today's topic is going to be uh, team sets and collecting team cards and just you know like getting your favorite team stuff basically. Uh, the only reason why I have this figure out here is because Dave Ortiz is my favorite player. And the significance of these two balls are that I met Mike Cameron's the bottom one and Clay Buckholz was the top one at a spring training game on St. Patrick's Day. And now let's get to the cards. It's really good to get what you see right here, which is a World Series 2004 World Series champion set that has every player that was on the World Champions team was on the 2004 World Series team, and it has one oversized card, which I'll get up and show you guys the oversized card here. It's a pretty nice card. It's got, it had Ortiz, Pedro, and Kurt Schilling on there. I enjoyed that very much. Oh my, I got this on vacation, actually, from my dad bought it for me, and I really liked it. Uh, next, I'm gonna next I'm gonna show you uh, two, another 2000. This is a 2005, I think. 2005 set. I'm pretty sure I have so many sets of them. I just kind of lose track. Yeah, 2005 set of the Red Sox here. If I ever get it back in. The 2005 set of the Red Sox with the Ortiz on the top. I didn't actually set it up like that. Just how I got it. Next, I especially like this one because it's a Dice K rookie card. 2007 Red Sox set. These are just my two favorite sets just because of the players that are in them. And not to mention, I have something interesting to show you guys. I have the Japanese rookie card of Dice K Matsuzaka. There's the Japanese rookie card, and then there's the actual rookie card. And as you can see, there's a. I thought that was really cool when I got it, and apparently this is a really tough card to get. But I, that's why all these things are up here. And um, when when you're collecting your team set, especially after your team wins a World Series, you're really gonna want that set because, like obviously everybody knows the significance of the 2004 set, and I just so happen to have the regular set and the World Series set, but especially after your team wins the World Series, you want that set, because odds are next year, one of those guys isn't going to be on this team, I'm almost 100% positive that's going to happen, so you're definitely going to want to get those for future generations, because eventually, if you're looking to sell them, they'll grow in profit year to year, to year. and uh, if if a uh, if something serious happens to a team, like they break a record or just something phenomenal, I guess, like they all hit a home run in one inning or something, you're gonna want to get that set just for the just for the record's purpose. And somebody's gonna and eventually that's gonna if that record stands or you know if, just because they have a record, the set will definitely grow up and grow in value. But then, if the record gets broke, don't worry about it dropping in value. It'll still rise in value. In fact, probably that day it will go up a few more dollars and then just kind of go on a little small but steady incline up through the whole year. And also, while you're collecting your teams, while you're collecting your teams, uh, just all your teams' cards, you're definitely going to want the old cards of your, like, old Hall of Famers that played for your team which I'm just going to show you one, which is Ellis Burks. I just, the only reason why I'm showing you his, I have a bunch. I have about every Hall of Famer, including Claudia Stremski, but I'm not showing that to you people. Uh, I just really liked Ellis Burks. He was probably my favorite. And normally, everybody has their favorite player on their favorite team. So, this is my 
my favorite player, David Ortiz, like I said earlier in the video. Got an autograph card of him, his world jersey, his Minnesota Twins jersey. But this year he played for the Red Sox when the year came out. That's why I have it out here. His box score memory jersey. His sweet swatch jersey. A dual Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz jersey when Manny played for the Dodgers. Um, 2006 or 2005 Upper Deck Antiquity Artifacts. Uh, Ortiz, it's a small jersey. It's not limited, but... And then, of course, the... I have the other, which I already saw, which was in, used in the other video. The Kurt Schilling, John Papalonte jersey. So, so, basically, with your favorite team, what you're going to want to do... This, this Today's was Red Sox. Tomorrow I'm going to do probably the Mets. I'm just randomly picking teams, but I wanted to do the Red Sox first because they're my favorite team. But one last thing to remember about collecting for the Red Sox cards and just kind of collecting your team's cards anyway, uh, you're always going to want to have the limited edition cards. Like in certain sets, especially this year, they've been a lot harder to get, not as much as Series 2 of the tops, of 2011 tops, just plain tops, not high heritage, chrome, none of that. Just regular tops. They've they've really upped the ante on trying to get the limited cards, and I actually haven't found one Red Sox limited card yet. In fact, I've probably spent about six hundred dollars just on buying series one and two, mainly for the diamond giveaway codes, but which I've entered like seventy. So, and uh, pretty much. Find one, put it in a case, and one thing that I found, one thing that I saw that I've been trying to do ever since then was get a Red Sox set of limited edition cards, base cards, which is, is if you can do that, that's very, very rare. I've only seen it happen once. That's something you should look out for, and people would pay out the butt for that. That's all I gotta say. So, thank you for watching this episode, episode five. Uh, check out my other four episodes. And uh, next episode is probably going to be the Mets. But I'm still probably going to be wearing my Red Sox gear like I wear every video. So thanks for watching, YouTube.